All right, ready to get going here. We've got uh, Larry Adams presenting on the 10 years of Cacti and the evolution of plugins. Larry's the vice president of the Cacti group and one of the primary developers for the open source project called Cacti. He currently works at Platform Computing as a senior consultant. And we'll have uh, about 10 minutes at the end for Q&A, &A, and I'll pass around the microphone so we can get on the recording too. So without further ado. Thank you very much. So, uh, so as, uh, as mentioned, uh, my name is Larry Adams. I'm with the Cacti Group, Vice President and otherwise uh, Chief Bottle Washer. If you ever watch SVN, you realize that this Vice President actually does the coding, much like Ethan Gulstad, right? So, hmm, I am, I'm thinking that I don't want to lean over. I just want to take this thing like a, like a rock star, not. Okay, well anyway, so, uh, so the, the way I run these, uh, these uh, meetings, it's basically unscripted. I did a little bit of thinking before we did this, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. Hopefully you'll have questions. Um, if there's something you really want to know about and it's burning, you know, raise a hand. Um, but generally, you know, I'm gonna rip through this stuff. I'll go at whatever speed's good for you guys, okay? It's a small enough team, small enough group where I can do that, okay? So, so the purpose of this meeting, really, the agenda is what is cacti? And just a uh, sign of hands real quick, who doesn't know what cacti is and what it does? Besides the smart Alex in the front of the room here that happen to be members of the cacti group. So we actually have two, uh, two additional members of the cacti group here today. And uh, you may or may not have noticed them. They're wearing the same shirt. This is a, the cacti gr group shirt, shirt and, uh, you know, with the cacti on it. Uh, and that's uh, Jimmy Connor and uh, Tony Roman sitting up front here. So uh, we're a, we're a loose-knit group. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about cacti and what it is and what it does. And then we're going to talk about the origins of cacti, where it came from. OK? So this presentation is going to be color canvas, color canvassing of plugins and things that cacti does that you may or may not know about. You may be just using cacti for what it does best. Then we're going to talk about the classic uh, network operations model. And from that, we're going to extend that discussion into the plugin architecture and what it can do for you. After that, we're going to talk about useful plugins by example, in which case I'm just going to start showing you pictures and explaining how the plugins work, what they do for you, what they may not do for you. It depends on what I decide to talk about, being that this is unscripted, OK? Uh, and I think I'm going to hold this thing just a little further away so the video doesn't sound so bad in the end. Uh, so, and then the current state of cacti, where are we at? And then the uh, future of cacti. Okay, without further ado, let's talk about what is cacti. Well, this is, uh, this is actually from the cacti website. It's a complete RD tool front end, okay? So when it started out, it was all about RD tool, MRTG, okay? It stores all of the necessary information to create graphs in MySQL. The front end is essentially PHP, which I was glad to see that, you know, Ethan's moving a lot of his stuff to the LAMP stack, which makes me really good because I see way too much Tomcat. Do not like Tomcat. Speaking as a developer, of course. Along with being uh, able to maintain graphs, data sources, and round-robin archives in a database, Cacti handles all the gathering. So we have a polar infrastructure. This is all solicited data. There's not much unsolicited, but you'll see some very interesting things as we move along here. Certainly, there's not enough time to cover everything. When I do cacti training, I'm usually five days a week solid. There's also SNMP support for those uh, to use uh, traffic graphs, for example, right? Pretty typical thing. Graphs, you say, well, everyone knows, everyone's seen RD tool graphs. And these are the kind of things that you can do in our RD tool, right? Really beautiful. A picture tells a thousand words. And performance monitoring and trending, really, really, for the people who know the stuff that they maintain, tell them that there's something going on. You take a look at a graph today, and then you go look at it tomorrow, and compare it to 30 other graphs, you can see things, patterns start to emerge to the trained eye. And from that, you can draw associations 
that you know, the million dollar event management and correlation systems can't do for you. So performance monitoring, you know, it's a favorite subject of mine, it's my hobby, it's cool. Okay, so let's talk about where Cacti came from. Well, our founder, Ian Berry, was in high school just around 2001, and he was looking for something to do. And uh, so he started Cacti. I don't know if it was a senior project, science fair, but uh, he seemed to get a lot of press for it in Pennsylvania when he came out with it. It was published as a free application on the rdtool.org website, and that's how I found it. I was working at General Motors at the time, and you know, in General Motors, I was, I'd gone from a business entity to operations, and the first thing I asked the managers was, oh, it's great to be in operations. I'm glad to be here. What kind of budget do we have? <laughs> budget, you say? <laughs> Operations has no budget. We practice the engineer's creed, right? The engineer's creed is, I've done so much for so long with so little that I can do virtually anything with practically nothing, okay? So take that one with you as just a, the quote of the day. If you didn't already know it, you know, you should know it now. And being that I'm an engineer, it was really close to my heart. So I found it, discovered it, thanks to Toby and, and uh, Toby Oticker and his website, and uh, started playing around with it. It wasn't quite what it needed to be back in... 2002, but it had promise because it was available on the web. You could do everything from the web. You didn't have to blank with the command line, which back then I was a GUI guy. I started doing Windows in, oh, about a 1984, right, with a very early version of Windows, and so I was a big Windows fan. Well, I was. Well, anyway, moving on. It was discovered by uh, many in search for replacement for you name it. Right? In my case, it was nothing and dying by MRTG. Okay? That was it. And uh, between 2002, when I discovered it, and 2004, there was many Incubary releases. And I'm going to show you a couple of pictures here. This is nostalgic stuff. You can actually get this from the Cacti website. But I figured, you know, <laughs> he asked me to talk. I'll just talk about it. Right? So here we go. So uh, widespread global use, rather, began in around 2004 with the release of 086, which is, was my first release of Cacti. So Cacti's been kind of a cool thing, you know, for about uh, eight years. Um, and again, in its infancy years ago. So who is the Cacti group? Well, it keeps growing. So uh, for the people you may have, if, if you're users of Cacti and, and you've talked to people on the forums, here they are. So on the left, we have Brawny Braun. He's, uh, he's from Germany. Andreas Braun, uh, Gandalf, who's, you know, eclipsed me in post counts, you know, some two years ago, and I, I don't think I want to catch up at this point, uh, again from Germany. Uh, we have Tony Roman, who's our fearless leader, really. I mean, he's, he's his official title is secretary, but, you know. <laughs> but he's really, the, uh, he's really the, the true leader of the team. And uh, behind there is the old guy. Not, I, I don't think I'm the oldest guy in the team, but I'm the old guys are in the back. And then uh, right to my left is a guy by the name of Jeff Pasnick. He really likes uh, Irish pubs and alcohol. Okay? He's a ex-military. Actually, he's still in the Guard, the Canadian Guard, no, no less. He lives up in Regina, Saskatchewan, and he is our comedic relief. Right? If you ever wanted to go and be really, really, really offended and then have to laugh at yourself for after, after having that being done to you, this is the guy you want to talk to. Uh, and to his left and in front is Ian Berry, the founder. And, uh, you know, great guy. And uh, an entrepreneur like you've never seen. They're doing some incredible things that I could spend a whole hour talking just about that. But since we only have an hour, uh, to the left we have b 2600, who will remain unnameless, but uh, rather nameless. And, uh, and just, he's a good guy. He's our lone remaining Windows guy on the team, because I've kind of ditched Windows, <laughs> okay? So, and then we have Sigamit, who's with us here today, Jimmy Connor, and uh, he's the, the guy who invented the plugin architecture. So some early screenshots with a little uh, expletive there on the end. So this is a version of Cacti. How many people use this version of Cacti? Yeah, <laughs> me too, I think, I can't remember. Okay, let's take a look at another one. How about that? It looks a little different. Doesn't, still doesn't look quite like Cacti. And uh, here's another, kind of starting to look like Cacti, right? We've got a console, we've got graphs, we got this thing, Docs, which I, I have no idea what that does. 